Welcome back. You're listening to the Cindy Laverty Show on CRN Digital Talk Radio. My guest today is Carrie Tepidino, and we're taking you into the new year with a new attitude about health and wellness. I'm really not about diets. Think about that word, die it, die it. So you kind of feel like you're dying when you're on a diet. So this is all about eating healthy, eating good food. We're going to talk about eating organically. Hopefully we're going to talk about that, Carrie. And uh, my guest is Carrie Tepidino. And I would really encourage you to go to her website, carrietepidino.com, K-E-R-R-Y-T-E-P-E-D-I-N-O.com. And just sign up to get her newsletter because every week you're going to get this lovely thing delivered to your inbox and uh it's full of tips and interviews and all kinds of great stuff that she does so carrie serves a great service in our world carrie thanks so much for being here thanks so much for having me okay so you say that the answer is in the kitchen now we've have pretty much established that we have altered foods and we have chemicals in our food and a lot of sugar in our food so if the answer is in the kitchen what is that answer what should we be eating Yes, great question. Well, the first thing is to really remember that food has been used for medicinal purposes for centuries. Yes. Centuries, thousands of years. And it really is in our society, um, you know, as our society has developed to be what it is today, the majority of the people in our country were not exposed to this information. And, you know, we lean more towards processed foods and foods that aren't in their whole form. So it's really getting educated on, on what's right there at your fingertips, like using ginger, using peppermint, using aloe, you know, just even some of the most basic foods. Um, one thing I would love to bring up are superfoods. Yeah. And superfoods are foods that are unprocessed and they have a very high photonutrient content. Now, what does that mean? Right? That was my next question. <laughs> What it means is that these foods, um, they're very high in antioxidants. They are very good for inflammation, and um, you really do want to eat them in their most raw, organic state. Some of these foods that are very, very common, almonds, avocados, blueberries, broccoli, cabbage, I mean, that's just to name a few. There's many, many of them, and people can even go online and just Google superfoods and get a whole list. Do you have to eat broccoli in a raw form? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you can sex it up. Somehow sex up your broccoli. <laughs> How do you sex up your broccoli? <laughs> I don't know. Just lightly steam it and then put some put some nice, you know, spices on it. Like do something creative with it. I just did this new Could I eat kale instead of broccoli? Yes, kale is also very, very good for you. Kale okay. will do the job. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I mean, that doesn't mean just be, there's this whole list of superfoods, but just because one's there doesn't mean you have to eat it if you hate it. Well, exactly. I mean, go choose from, from the list. Choose the ones that really make you feel good. Okay. All right. So can you just Google superfoods and find out what they are? You know what? You can Google superfoods and a ton of information will come up. Okay. Um, and what I will actually do for for your audience, um, make sure to visit my website in the next week. What I'll do is I'll put up a list of superfoods on my website at, as well, carrietepidino.com. Oh, fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. That's great. So we can get superfoods from Carrie Tepidino, and it's perfect. So you're not going to find superfoods in the center aisles of the grocery store, right? Um, well, some of them you could. Not in the center, right? Not in the center. <laughs> Maybe <usually>? water. <laughs> well, uh, almonds you probably could. I mean, if you're shopping the bins, those are going to be perhaps in the center, you know. So, um, but it is, for the majority of your shopping, it's best to stay on the, the outside perimeter because that's where foods are going to be in their fresh, raw, whole form. You know, okay. they haven't been, like, broken down or, or changed into something crazy that's kind of resembles what they used to be right right yeah so definitely hit, keep to that fresh produce area and then um but some of those like the nuts some of the times the nuts and stuff they're not going to be on those outside aisles right right um are there foods that we should absolutely avoid i think we've established sugar yes sugar um you know I white flour as, white flour 
substitute it with a nut flour. Like almond flour is great. It's low glycemic. It tastes great. There's chickpea flour. Um, you know, and also looking for things that are gluten free, like we talked about earlier. You, if you have there's gluten free flour now. I just bought some. There is, yeah. And then even like the nut flours are usually gluten free mm-hmm. as well. So it'll usually stay on the package if it's gluten free. That that's one big marketing thing that that people are really, you know, trying to optimize. Companies are optimizing now because it's such a craze, and yeah. people are getting more and more educated on gluten. Okay, so. Well, we're going to go to a break here shortly, but right now I want to talk about um, the importance of supplements. Should we be taking supplements? Is there one supplement we should take? I mean, I always ask this question of my nutritional people, and it's interesting. I seem to always get the same answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's interesting because there is a controversy out there. Like people will say, well, our great, great-grandparents and our grandparents didn't take supplements, and they're fine. Why do we need them? They ate better food. Right. I actually do feel that supplements are important. Our soil isn't as rich as it used to be. Our fruits and vegetables aren't getting all the potency that they used to have. So I say yes. I mean, people, most people do need supplements today. Maybe people won't need supplements if they were growing their own organic garden, but that just isn't the case usually. And even if they did at this point, there's so many environmental factors right. that would still affect their organic garden. So um, I say all supplements are not created equal. It's really important <laughs> to get a high quality supplement. A whole food supplement, right? A whole food supplement would be great. Um, there's a couple companies that I really think are doing a great job out there. Biotics Research is holistic and scientific based. Apex at Energetics. Um, I, I'm actually releasing a program, which I know we'll be talking about, but that has a whole module in this program that I'll be releasing in January about supplementation because most people could do very well. I think most people do need a good multivitamin and you can't say everybody needs supplements. That's a real blanket statement because everybody's an individual, but most people really could use a good multi. What about fish oil? Fish oil is so important. I think we've talked about this before, at least personally we have. Get your omega-3 for sure. And if you're a vegetarian and you don't want fish oil, get um, the N3s, which is an algae source. So basically you're just taking the fish out as the middleman. Right, right. Okay, that's great advice. All right, when we come back, Carrie, I want to talk about your new program and the mind-body connection and stress and all of that. Stay with us. You'll see the Cindy Laverty Show. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Cindy 